constitution of Jammu Kashmir is the easiest uh, for government of India to amend. No other constitution has been amended so uh, much, so many times the, uh, with such that's there. liberalism. Talk about now. Why is it staying important? No, if it is eroded so much, then it is now only a psychological barrier. And you admit it. So how is it hurting you? My point is this. No, if it is becoming a psychological barrier, it has been whittled down. Just do it. has been whittled down from a model of shared sovereignty because we had three things. We had the constitution, the general, residuary, general, residuary powers, also and you had the uh, elected head of the state, which were really giving you sovereignty. Yeah. Yes. As for China, I'm sure you have all noted the remarks made by our state councillor and the foreign minister Wang Yi during his meetings with the Pakistani foreign minister and also the Indian uh, foreign minister. China holds the view that the issue of Jammu Kashmir is an issue left from history between India and Pakistan. According to relevant Security Council resolutions, the status of Kashmir is undecided and it's internationally recognized dispute. The Kashmir issue should be resolved properly through peaceful means in accordance with the UN Charter, the relevant Security Council resolutions, and bilateral agreements. This represents the international uh, community's consensus. It's obvious that the constitutional amendment by India has changed the status quo in Kashmir, causing tensions in the region. And so, is that a tension? <laughs> so we can see how serious the situation is. And dangerous, okay. And China is deeply concerned about the current situation and opposes any unilateral action that complicates the situation, and we call upon the relevant parties to exercise restraint, act prudently, and in particular, not to take actions that will aggravate the tensions. What should be pointed out is that India's action has also challenged China's sovereign interests and violated bilateral agreement on maintaining peace and stability in the border area. And on that, China is also very much seriously concerned. And we wish to emphasize that such unilateral practice by India is not valid in relation to China and will not change China's exercise of sovereignty and effective administrative jurisdiction over the territory. And I also wish to point out that both India and Pakistan are China's friendly neighbors. And we are all major developing countries. Both China, uh, both India and China are, uh, and I'm sorry for that, both India and Pakistan are at a crucial stage of development. We call on the two sides to set a stall by development of their own and peace in South Asia, find a proper solution to their historical grievances, discard the zero-sum game uh, mentality, avoid unilateral action, and settle disputes peacefully, and to maintain the peace and the security in that reason collectively and jointly. That's uh, what I wish to uh, share with dear colleagues from the media. I'm not in a position to answer more questions. I will do that in the coming days when we have a more convenient uh, time. Thank you. Thank you. Ambassador, just, just one, one quick question. question. One question.